Hi guys, I thought I'd just come on and introduce this video quickly. I'm going to be doing a why in a day to lose weight because I really enjoy doing these videos and I just feel a lot more comfortable doing these videos like vloggy type videos and sit down videos. I really enjoy filming them because I really like watching them myself anyway. I managed to actually lose a little bit of weight during lockdown already. I think I've lost like five to six pounds and I've actually like been able to maintain that as well which is really good. I'll see throughout the video started running again so like on the days that i run i eat more calories just because well not loads more but a bit more than i would just because i've burnt a bit more and also a night before i run i will eat more carby foods so i'll burn it off the next day and it's like still in my system to help me run today is actually a running day so yeah i've been working throughout the weeks to get higher and higher from my runs like longer distance running so i started off with 5k and i've like gradually gone up by 1k each time i run like two to three times a week um, and that's enough for me i actually completed a 10k run the other day which is really good um i only went out to do a 9 9k and ended up doing a 10 under an hour as well which was really good for me just start off with a pre-workout um, this early in the morning it's only actually like 20 past 7 i'm up so early because uh keegan woke up at like half six but he's already gone on his run um unfortunately i didn't go to sleep till like midnight so i'm a bit tired but yeah i just thought if i get up then i'll be fine um i do intimate fasting so i don't eat until 12 o'clock or have any coffee like with milk or anything um, the only thing I have is my pre-workout, which really helps me with my runs. Yeah, I think most of this video is actually going to be voiceovers, just because it's easier. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go take my pre-workout now. I'm going to aim to do, I think like an 8k run, because it was only like two days ago since I did my 10k and my legs are still really hurting okay, this is basically just what i'm gonna wear for my run i ordered myself some new running shorts because you know pro runner right now um and i did actually order some trainers as well but they're not here yet i ordered them both from jd but these were from actually jd and my trainers were from nike so i don't know where the trainers are because i've had these ones for literally forever so i thought it was Oh my god, what are we doing here? I really need to get a tripod. So I thought it was about time that I got some more. But yeah, gonna put go make a pre workout right now. And yeah, go on my run. So this is the pre workout blend that I use. It's fruit punch flavour actually so nice um i did i did try the blue raspberry one before and i really didn't like that it just tastes so artificial but i genuinely really like this if you've ever tried ka fruit punch uh the drink it tastes identical to that it is a bit too sweet in the morning but it does the trick so yeah just gonna make that now I just finished my run, I only did a small one today, I did 5.5k, but I beat all my personal records, so when I first did a 5k it was like 29 minutes, and today I got 27, so I'm quite proud of that, just wanted to burn some calories, like I said my legs are still shaking from my 10k, I'm just having a breather outside, and then it's only like 9 o'clock, so it's still a while till I can eat anything, uh, so I'm just going to go make a mint tea, and yeah, Dying. Please excuse the state of me as well. Like, I've literally broke out so much and I've got no makeup on and I'm sweaty. So yeah, just excuse that. Okay, so the first thing I like to do is get a coffee. This is my favorite time of the day. Like I literally wait for this so long because obviously I intimate fast. The coffee I'm 
drinking at the minute is the skinny coffees they come in so many different flavors and the one i'm having is cinnamon swirl which is so nice and it's only three calories per cup and yeah i just add a bit of semi skim milk to that as well and yes i add the milk before i add the hot water uh, so it don't burn the coffee so for breakfast i'm having these fin bagels with butter and i'm gonna scramble some egg whites um really low calorie really good and this is such a filling breakfast i find so yeah i just place the bagels and put them in the grill for like 10 minutes no not 10 minutes just yes, probably about five and then i start doing well cracking the eggs um as you will see it's a very bad way <laughs> of separating my egg whites but yeah we get there in the end I then just put the egg whites in the microwave for a minute. And while I'm doing that, I like to take these CLA capsules. I've been taking these every day. I think they help um, get rid of that little bit of lower belly fat. So I've read anyway, but yeah, I've only been taking them for a week. So we'll see the process. Um, and here's just a really awkward video of me taking the tablets. <laughs> um, yeah, and then I just put 10 to 15 grams of lightly salted butter on my bagels and then put the egg whites over them and then we're basically pretty much done i let put a little bit of seasoning on i don't even know what seasoning this was i think it was like paprika or something um and then a little bit of ketchup because i can't have eggs without ketchup and here's my breakfast and it's only 208 calories <laughs> Okay, so it's now snack time and this is my favourite snack to go to at the minute and it's just rice cakes which are only like 23 calories per rice cake and crunchy peanut butter which I only use half a tablespoon of because then it's only 45 calories instead of using a tablespoon which would be 90 calories. Um, I really do believe that a teaspoon is enough um, and yeah, I also have a little pot of fruit just so I get in my five a day. And yeah, it's quite filling. Okay, so it's now dinner time. And yes, I'm having a salad and I'm having it all. So first I spray my pan with this one, cal one, with one calorie garlic spray and then put my corn fillets in. Only two. These are so low calorie as well. It's 80 calories for two fillets, which I think is so good. Um, and I just let them fry for a bit while I cut up some cucumber and put some pickles in my salad. Pickles, literally obsessed. I could literally sit there and eat the whole jar. Um, and then I just add a little bit of this Chinese salt and light mayo and give it a stir with a bit of sweet chilli sauce just to make it nice and saucy and not dry. <laughs> and then I just add a bit of the Nando sauce to my chicken, fake chicken. Uh, to add a bit of flavour and that's pretty much it really low calorie salad and really really filling also have a kind of diet vanilla coke just to get rid of them sugar cravings okay so for dessert i basically put these milky bar yogurts in the freezer with a 90 calorie fiber one bar and a bit of fruit Put it in the microwave, add the yogurt. It's like a yogurt, no, it's yogurt. It's like ice cream and brownie. It tastes so good with this zero sugar, zero calorie sorted caramel sauce. The best dessert ever and so low calorie. Literally been having this every single night and it really does get rid of them cravings for sugar. Okay, so I felt like I just needed to explain about why I don't eat as many calories and maybe let you know what my current weight is and stuff because i felt i feel like it would be useful to a lot of people because obviously you would have realized throughout the video i don't need a lot of calories however the video tile is how i lose weight in lockdown so because i'm so small i'm actually only five foot two i don't need a lot in my body to fuel myself 
a woman aim to eat like 1200 calories a day if you're trying to lose weight otherwise i feel like 1500 is normal for a woman but it's probably normal actually for a woman who is a lot taller so i'm five foot two well five foot one and a half i'd say so i am really small and i've actually figured out through a lot of dieting and through the years as you would see i do try out a lot of diets and um, i've actually been able to figure out what calories i should eat to lose weight and if i want to maintain the weight how how many calories i should be eating to maintain it and also what exercise i need to be doing to help the process as well Obviously, in the video, I was only eating under 900 calories. But as you would have seen, um, I was still eating a lot of food. Like, there was still a lot of food. And I was actually full. Like, that salad I have at the end of the video fills me up so much every time. I probably could have gone out with, without dessert. I was, I was pretty full. Because I intimate fast until 12 o'clock... My body is so used to that now. I never get hungry in the mornings ever. I literally just drink my green tea. And because I normally work out in the mornings anyway, it distracts my mind so I don't get hungry. And then obviously I just eat past 12 o'clock and then just stop eating before 8 o'clock. And my body's so used to that now because I've been doing it for so long. And I've managed to actually like lose a bit of weight. I feel like I do want to do a whole separate video on weight loss and my struggles and all the diets that i've done in my life because i wouldn't say that i've got a good relationship with food at all um i feel like it's got a lot better now i've i understand my body more and what i need to eat to lose weight and what i need to eat to maintain my weight so i feel like that is a lot better but yeah i sort of just wanted to come on and say because obviously a lot of people would probably have um opinions about eating less than a thousand calories a day to lose weight but because i'm so small that is what i need i'm not starving myself at all um i literally am full whenever i eat and i feel like i'm eating good foods as well um but that's just basically how i've been losing weight in lockdown exercise doing a lot of runs and like a few workouts walks on the days the long walks on the days that i don't um run and yeah eating less calories and it's been working you, know, you would have known that i was a stone heavier probably this time last year in fact it was this time last year i wait i didn't mind sharing my weight with you so i was 10 stone three 10 stone i think i actually reached 10 stone four at one point this time last year i can insert a picture here and um and now i'm nine stone four which is like a really good weight for me, to be fair. Like I've been managing, I've been managing to maintain this weight for a long time now, which is really good, and it's making me happy. However, I'm not happy just yet. I do want to lose a bit more, just because of how small I am. Um, I would just like to lose maybe like six or seven pounds, and then start to work on toning up. Um, as most people would so yeah that's basically it i just wanted to end this video if you would want to see a video um of my weight loss throughout the years and yo-yo dieting and all stuff like that just just a little like a chat with me um or in a whole separate video just because i don't want to make this video too long just let me know but yeah uh, thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one